Well, hello guys, Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Um, doesn't work without you guys, but I certainly work because I'm actually down here in the country. Uh, I've got to get this place painted this weekend. Um, Labor Day weekend. I'm putting in the labor <laughs> this weekend. Um, like I said, gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. But news on our Dallas Cowboys. You know, I do everything I can to make sure I keep you up to date on everything that's going on. Rondell Carter from JMU, JMU Dukes, uh, has been released, been uh, waived, but they're hoping that they can bring him back um, if he clears waivers to be put on the practice squad. Wide receiver John, uh, John Johnson, you can call me Ray, or you can call me Jay, or you can call me JJ Jr., but you don't have to call me Mr. Johnson, was also uh, put on waivers, excuse me, uh, release as well. And linebacker Francis Bernard was also let go. Some of these guys you'll hopefully see back on the practice squad. Uh, it's one of the reasons why Mike McCarthy didn't want to put name tags and numbers on guys because they're trying to be secretive because some guys they really, really like that they want to hold on to, but you know, you don't want to let somebody else have a chance to get it. So that's where we are with that. Now we heard Dak Prescott say that he wants to be a Dallas Cowboy for life, which we love that. We love the fact that he loves being a Dallas Cowboy player and it's all in. You know, we're talking about a guy who literally built a practice field in his house. So that way, you know, he was going to be the reason why this team didn't win this year. He put in the work. And I said, quite a while ago, quite a while ago, get Dak Prescott's deal done before Russell Wilson's because the market would be reset. Oh no, you can't pay Dak Prescott, you know, because we probably could have paid Dak about $28, $29 million. But the Cowboys waited. And Russell Wilson got his at 35. Then Carson Wentz and Jared Goff and uh, Big Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers, all these guys got the big contracts. And we still continue to wait. And so many people have been focused in saying that, you know, he doesn't deserve to be the highest paid. <coughs> Understand, excuse me. Understand, it's only a monetary thing. Kirk Cousins, who's won nothing, was once the highest paid. And two years in onto his contract that was fully guaranteed, he ended up getting a two-year extension at $33 million a year. So as we've been squabbling on whether or not the Cowboys would end up paying Dak Prescott, you know, $37, $38 million or whatever, here it is, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson has now got his deal. Deshaun Watson is getting basically a four-year extension, $160 million with $92 million guaranteed on it. So the market has been completely reset between Pat Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. <clears throat> and it's funny because this was another one of those things I said, get this thing done before Deshaun Watson and Pat Mahomes. Because here's the thing, right now, even the $37 million for the franchise tag, if you have to tag Dak next year, now sounds like a bargain. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, Dak Prescott's not Deshaun Watson, but I ask you, what has Deshaun Watson done that Dak Prescott doesn't? They have the identical same playoff record. And keep in mind that Deshaun Watson's whole time there, he had one of the best wide receivers in football. You can't say that about Dak Prescott every year that he's had. Also, the Texans have had a very good defense as well. So Deshaun Watson gets four years, $160 million extension. You know the old saying, you can pay me now or you can pay me later, but you're going to pay me. That's what the Cowboys are going to have to do. The price does not get lower when it comes to quarterback compensation. It keeps continuing to rise. Now, it'll probably take forever for this video to upload, but it is what it is. Man. Traffic was a mother humper getting here today. And so I'm kind of late getting started. And I need to get me 10 gallons of eggshell paint for the wall. I got primer, I got ceiling paint. 
and I need semi-gloss for the kitchen and the bathrooms, and I need trim paint. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. All right, you're up to date, man. Peace.